back to Grace's room. So I am officially back at school and we're basically getting straight into it because tomorrow morning I am leaving for a three day school camp. Um, I think it's supposed to be more like a little retreat for all the year 12s. Um, maybe a bit of like a bonding experience. You know, we're doing a couple of activities and stuff, but it doesn't sound like it's gonna to be too outdoorsy. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I think the weather's also supposed to be pretty nice. So it's gonna be pretty good. Um, as per usual, I have left my packing till the last minute, so I thought I'd share with you guys what I'm going to be packing. Maybe it might be useful to some of you if you're going on school camp soon. So, let's get started. Um, I think I'm going to start off with all of my clothing, so I've got that all laid out in front of me. Um, they said to pack for like both weather conditions, and like I said, it's supposed to be pretty nice, so I wasn't really sure what to pack, but it could get cooler, you know, at night time, so I just packed for any worst case scenario. <laughs> so, um, I'll start with the tops. Uh, I always like to bring a lot of tops every time I go away. It's only supposed to be three days, but oh well. Uh, firstly, we're starting with this one from Brandy Melville. You know, just a plain little white top. I've got this one here. I don't know where it's from, but I thought I'd bring a black top as well. Um, this more like longer one from Glassons. I thought I should probably bring one that's a bit longer in case we can't wear like really cropped ones. I'm not really sure what the rules are around that. Anyway, I've got an oversized white top as well. You know, these are pretty comfortable. Some oversized tops and this oversized TLC top as well because it's like my favorite top of all time. I love wearing it. <laughs> okay, so I don't really pack a lot of long sleeves, but uh, I have this one long sleeve, like more like a skin tight kind of long sleeve top that I thought I could wear if it does get a get bit, if it does get a bit cooler. And then I've also got this like crew neck jumper from Champion that I thought I'd bring to probably good for like night time. Uh, now pants, this is probably where I was like, I have no idea what I should bring. <laughs> so, cause I don't really want to wear shorts, but I thought I probably should bring some anyway. I just got this like light pair of Adidas ones. And I've also got some kind of a bit like of a tracksuit material, but these are from White Fox. I love these ones. So I thought that might be good. Um, and it also, they also said to bring clothes that might get wet. And I was very much concerned when I saw that. I'm not sure if we're going like canoeing or anything like that, but I'm a little bit scared. So I thought I'd just bring these tracksuit pants. They're a little bit old. So I thought if they get wet, I don't really care. Okay, more pants. <laughs> I've got two pairs of Lorna Jane leggings, just in case. You know, leggings are pretty good for either weather type, you know. You can wear them in the cold or in the hot, so I thought these would probably be good, so that's why I've got two pairs of them. And then finally, I have got a pair of tracksuit pants from White Fox. Just a black pair, you know. I've got a pack, an uh, assortment of colours as well, you know, mix and match and stuff. <laughs> um, this isn't really clothes, but I have this little, like, what are they called? The head towels. In case, you know, I fall in the water or something and I've got to wash my hair. I really hope that doesn't happen. Just a little washcloth and like a face towel as well. Perfect. And then I have got my pajamas as well. I've got my new ones that I got for Christmas this year. Um, I thought I'd bring these ones, you know, because everyone might be bringing cool pajamas. So I wanted to bring my cool pajamas as well. <laughs> okay, um, what else? Oh, this is what I'm going to be wearing um on like tomorrow because we come to school tomorrow in uh casual clothes they're making us do the first period still like my first class i have to go to it which i'm a little bit annoyed about but it's okay we can still wear our casual clothes um so i've got this plain white t-shirt some tracksuit pants i'm gonna have so many pairs of tracksuit pants um and then this zip up hoodie i thought this would be because i was going to bring more jumpers but then i thought why don't i just bring this zip up jacket because you know it's easy to take off and probably more comfortable to wear so at least I don't have to pack these I'll just put these to the side for now I've also got a fitted bed sheet because we have to bring a bed sheet and a shower towel some socks a cap and I've also got some shoes down here I think I'll wear these ones tomorrow um, I've got these shoes here that, you know, they're a little bit dirty, so I don't mind if they get wet or anything like that. And then some uh, flip-flops, I was about to say thongs, I forgot, <laughs> um, that I might, you know, wear in the shower or something like that. Okay, so I've got this bag here to pack everything into. It's a pretty big one. I really hope it's going to fit everything in our, everything though. I know it's like pretty um, big, but knowing me, I'm probably going to fill it up. I've also put all my undies and bras away already. Uh, so let's get started. Ooh, 
everything just fits in there. Um, it's probably gonna be a very heavy bag. I feel bad for whoever has to, oh sorry, I've gotta carry it. <laughs> I feel bad for whoever has to carry it, but it's gonna be me. Um, I'm just gonna go quickly grab some toiletries, some snacks, some other little bits and pieces, so I'll be right back. So it's a little bit chaotic on the bed at the moment, but I've got all my toiletries and snacks laid out. Um, so I think I'm just gonna pack one bag at a time and I'm gonna start off with hair accessories. So I've got that all in a little pile here, but I've just got a little shower cap, obviously no shower. My hairbrush as well. Some hairspray, I actually went to the store. Um, I basically raided the travel section <laughs> and I got this mini um, hairspray. It doesn't look too mini, but I might need it. I don't know. Uh, I've got a little mini shampoo and conditioner, which I hope I don't have to use. A little scrunchie and a hair clip as well. Um, just like a little headband and my hair clip. I believe that. Oh, sorry, and my hair ties as well. I think that's all. Um, no, I packed another one. So I'm trying to work out as well at the same time, like what I should pack in each thing. So hopefully, all these toiletry bags fit in there. <laughs> um, so. Now I'm just going to pack some toiletries. I am going to bring a little bit of makeup, not a lot. I've just got like my little Kosas concealer and powder, just in case I get an unexpected pimple and I want to cover it up. So I've just got some little brushes as well. Um, here I've got some body soap. I've got cleanser. Dry shampoo. Which I'll probably definitely be using. Um, I just put some moisturizer into like a little travel container. Same with my face sunscreen, just put it in this cute little container. Deodorant. This little like pimple cream from all kinds. It's really cute. Toothpaste. My toothbrush, which I put in like the little toothbrush container. I don't like to say like that container. <laughs> a container. <laughs> Um, in this little pouch here, I just put like some Q-tips, um, like some mini scissors, and then also some tweezers. Oh my gosh, I forgot the name. <laughs> I thought I should probably put them in a little pouch because the scissors and tweezers are a bit sharp. I don't want them to stab through the bag or anything. Um, I've also got some lip balm, a tinted lip balm, just because. <laughs> A little mini perfume and I also found this cute little pack of like cotton pads and then also just like a little headband you know if I need to like wash my face or anything and I think that should be all for this one as well okay I also have to pack a little bag just to like bring on the bus or like you know if I want to go to an activity I need to bring some stuff with me so in there I'm gonna pack some hand wipes Another little mini roll on perfume, hand cream, lip balm, a little mini spray hand sanitizer, deodorant, some pencils, which I just have like in this little pencil case, it's really cute. Um, I don't know, I think we might need them like if we do like color, there might be like a mandala activity or something like that, or like some reflective, you know, writing and stuff, so I need to bring that. A portable charger because we can bring our phones, but we can't like use them all the time, but that's good. At least we can bring them. Uh, a little pack of tissues. And I'll also put my phone in here as well, but I think that's pretty much all for this bag as well. Um, oh yeah, I'll also have to pack my recess and lunch in here, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow because it's all in the fridge downstairs. I'm basically like the person where if you ever need anything, I've probably got it in my bag, so <laughs> that's why I've got a lot of stuff in there. Okay, let's see if everything's going to fit in here. Okay, some stuff's probably going to get a little bit squashed, but oh well. Oof, I'm just thinking I've got to put my snacks in there too. It's going to be a bit chaotic. So I've got another little side pocket here that I thought maybe I'd put my chargers in. So I've just got an Apple Watch and phone charger. Some sunscreen. Insect repellent, apparently we're gonna need this. They were saying to us that apparently at night time there might be snakes. And as soon as I said that, like, I'm almost said like, okay, I'm not gonna go anymore, but I will. <laughs> just a little bit scared. Um, I've just got this like power board like charger as well, in case there's only like one power point and we all need to charge our phones. Um, body mist. And then just like 
uh, body lotion as well. Well, that one is very full. Okay, and then finally I've got snacks. Um, I really don't know how the food is going to be there, so I thought I'm going to bring a lot of food in case I'm going to be feeding myself in the next three days. So, I have some Uncle Toby's yogurt like granola bar things, or sorry, oat bars. Some Biscoff biscuits because these are so good. I love Biscoff. Ooh, this is really tricky. <laughs> pretzels because who doesn't love pretzels? You already crushed like 20 of them. Some killer pythons in case you know I want something a little bit sweet. And then also some dried cranberries because I really love dried cranberries. I don't know. Okay, let's see if this is all going to. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> but it might not even fit. <laughs> well, I might have a dislocated shoulder by the time I come back from this camp, but everything is packed in there at least. Uh, I also have to bring a sleeping bag, which is a little bit of extra weight, and also my own pillow. And I've got my pillowcase on as well. Um, I have this little cable thing, I, don't, I forgot what it's called, but I'm going to see if I can wrap it around this and just keep everything like together, I don't want anything to get separated on the bus, um, but I'll try and put that on later, I might need my dad's help. <laughs> but I'm all packed now, ready to go, hopefully this is a fun and enjoyable camp. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out my Instagram at Grace's World Official. I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now!